Being born into a prestigious, star-studded family didn't stop Angelica from working twice as hard to become a Hollywood star. She earned her spot in the 1970s and beyond, not just as a renowned actress, but also as a director, producer, author, and fashion model. Over the years, she has successfully poured her creativity into the entertainment industry, but not many people know who Angelica really is beyond the screens and fame. So guess what? We are about to take you through some startling facts you didn't know about Angelica. Facts that would definitely leave you starstruck. Also, only a small percentage of the people that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. From being a lonely child to a head-turning model. In the late hours of July 8, 1951, an amazing star was born. Houston was surrounded by creatives right from birth. Now, this certainly fired the flames of her journey into the entertainment industry. Not only was her father an actor and director, her grandfather was also a renowned actor at the time. Cool, right? Now, even though she knew well that the skill of acting ran through her veins, she decided early on in life that she wanted to follow in her mother's footsteps and become a model, a dream that she was willing to fight for. There's no denying that even though Houston's family carried all the inspiration she needed, she couldn't help but feel lonely sometimes. Her family was a bit complicated, and this affected her relationship with her father and brother. But through it all, she pushed to find joy in the things she loved doing and kept on pursuing her studies. Her father definitely noticing how much of a talented actress she was and made moves to cast her in some of his movies. However, it was a bit difficult for the two of them to work together due to their fractured relationship as a critic described it. Angelica's dream of becoming a model finally started to materialize in October 1968 when her and her mother, Enrica Soma, were photographed by De Rosnay for Vogue. This was indeed a thrilling experience for her, but her joy was short-lived when she received the most horrific news ever that her mother had died in a car accident. It was then that she made the decision to leave London. She admitted in an interview that she sort of fled London for New York. In her words, I didn't really know what to do with myself, and I wasn't quite sure what my father's intentions were for me, whether he was going to put me in a convent or launch me as an actress. Well, he'd already tried to do that, and we'd had a hard time on the making of that first film we did together. Told that she was too broad-shouldered to become a model. Now, even though Angelica worked hard to become a successful model, just like many other exceptional models, she had a lot of skeptics when she made the decision to take her modeling career seriously. One of those was actually a friend of her parents, photographer Richard Averden, who once commented that her shoulders were much too broad for her to ever act as a model. Now, she clearly didn't let his words derail her. She continued to train and build her portfolio as a model. Because she was relentless, she got to show Averden that she was indeed a phenomenal model when he photographed her a few years later for Vogue magazine. I think it's safe to say that she proved him wrong. She was so good that she got the opportunity to be signed to Ford Models in the early 1970s. Her excellence went on to put her on the spotlight as she walked the runway for brands like Sandra Rhodes, Yanomoto, Armani, and Valentino. Now, you certainly had to be an outstanding model to attract those brands in the 70s. Houston later on became one of fashion designer Halston's favored troupe of models, nicknamed the Halstonettes. She had a good run as a model, but soon enough, she ventured fully into the movie industry. Fascinating career. Her TV debut was directed by her father. So did you know that Angelica's screen debut was a role in a movie directed by her father? Houston was already running to play Juliet in Romeo and Juliet in 1968 when her dad decided to withdraw her from consideration a decision that did not play out the way he expected it to. After he cast Angelica for his film A Walk with Love and Death, she began to notice that the role was wrong for her. Her estranged relationship with her dad made it even more difficult for her to work with him, and even though a lot of critics called her a talentless, privileged actress, she continued to prove them wrong through her performances. In 1985, her dad cast her again for the film adaptation Fritzy's Honor, 
This time, Angelica's boyfriend, Jack, was also cast for the same movie. Despite the negative assumptions about her, the New York Times described her part as a wonderful character. She went on to wow her supporters when she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Amazing, right? Winning an Oscar was truly one of her biggest achievements. What most people don't know is that her father and grandfather won Oscars too in the past. Uh, she proved to the world that she truly came from a long line of phenomenal actors. She went on to show her viewers how multi-talented she truly was when she starred opposite Michael Jackson in the 3D film Captain EO in 1986 at Disneyland. Angelica also starred in movies like Garden of Stones, The Witches, The Addams Family, Buffalo Girls, Ever After a Cinderella Story. As expected, she won several awards for her outstanding performance in these movies and beyond. Angelica's voice was also a moneymaker. Houston is adored by millions of viewers across the world because of her incredible acting talent, but most people don't know that she's also a voiceover actor. In 2008, she voiced Queen Clarion in Tinkerbell, a movie which had outstanding results. She was able to maintain the role for four sequels from 2009 to 2015. She was later selected to voice a strict sadistic teacher in Miss Battleaxe and other movies like Horrid Henry and Smash. It's obvious that her recurring roles were due to her excellence and continuous superb performances. She is an advocate for animal rights. It's often rare to find a famous person who is openly firm about animal rights. Houston, however, showcased her genuine care for animals when she recorded a public service announcement for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals in December of 2012. And that's when she urged her colleagues in the movie industry to stop using great apes in advertisements, television, and film. In her words, It's a sad story that starts when the animals are babies, when they are torn away from their mothers, and forced to depend on human trainers, which leaves lifelong emotional scars on both the mothers who go into a deep depression and the babies. Now, shortly after she made the video about the great apes being mistreated in the entertainment industry, she was selected as Person of the Year by PETA, a well-deserved recognition. Her words truly caused a major transformation in the industry because then renowned advertising agencies in the U.S. backed her up and pledged for the use of great apes to come to a halt. However, behind the screens, Houston likes to keep animals in her home as pets. She even admitted in an interview that she lives with four cats, two dogs, and some other animals as her way of giving these animals the care that they deserve. She also goes as far as donating her fur coats to homeless and animal shelters. And what an amazing woman. Houston continues to color the entertainment industry with her craft, even to date, but her most recent appearance was in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum in 2019. For her phenomenal work as a model, actress, director, and author, Angelica Houston is definitely worth celebrating even now. So which fact about Angelica Houston caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video right here in this series.